Hi everyone. Let's pull our prompt cards for September's Mixed Media Morsels Altered Card Play Challenge. All right, here's the theme for this month for September. Ooh, messy. <laughs> that sounds real fun. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, our technique will be scribble. Oh, it goes perfectly with messy. I love it. Okay, now let's see what our add-ons are going to be. First one, add numbers. Okay, very doable. And the second add-on is add a sticker. Very, very doable. Yay! I'm liking this so far. This is going to be a fun look, maybe a mixed media sort of thing. <laughs> okay, and our extra credit, if I can pick up the one card, there we go, is add fabric. Oh, I love it. How fun. Okay, guys, so there we go. These are our prompts for September, and I can't wait to get started. And so I'll be back once I have all of my plan together, and we'll see what I can come up with. So I've grabbed a few scraps. I'm thinking I'm going to just collage a little bit onto my card, and we'll just have a messy kind of fun collage and I picked out some just some little scraps some are painted papers some are gift wrap pieces just stuff out of my scrap box uh, little scrapbook papers and tissue papers and just some little bits and I like these colors because I have a homemade sticker and we do need to add a sticker for um, for this one so this is a sticker that I printed. It, I'm sorry, it's a stamped image that I had scanned and I printed it onto a label sheet. So I'll be cutting that out and using it on my page, but I thought it would just look so pretty with these colors in the background. So I'm excited to get started on that. And so I'm just gonna play, put some music on and just start gluing down some bits. So I'm gonna get started now.
We've definitely been messy today. <laughs> it's been so much fun. I love it. Okay, I'm going to add my fabric piece. That's the only thing that's left here. Um, we got messy covered. <laughs> We did some scribbles uh, around the little circly dots here, and there's also some scribbly uh, outlines around my little uh, leafy uh, branch that I stamped. And then uh, we added numbers. We add, we're adding a sticker, and so fabric is the last thing, and I'm just going to use a piece of black and white fabric and just attach a little tab on this card like that so the the black and white bit will be sticking out here i like that in contrast to <laughs> all this mass of color that i've got going on here so i'm going to put a little bit of the fabri tac on that to hold it on Can put it right about there. And we're going to flip it over. And stick it down there. There we go. Very cute. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to lift it up a little bit so that it doesn't pull it off because it's not dry yet. I like it. Okay, and then I'm going to have my leaf here. I decided I like the look of it instead of in the middle. I like the look of it off to the side. I think that's really fun. So, let's see. I'm going to slide this out a little bit so it can dry. You know, sometimes when your glue keeps coming up out of the tip of your Fabri-Tac, if you loosen the cap, it takes away the pressure of the glue wanting to push up through there and it will stop. So that's a fun, easy little tip to stop that from continuing to ooze up out of there. Okay, let's get the sticker on. Now I'm not gonna have it all the way on the card. I'm gonna have it off of just a tiny bit here and here. So to keep those leaves from being too sticky, I'm gonna kind of dust them with my little uh, embossing powder bag. You can use, you know, baby powder or anything like that that you have. I'm going to just dust those edges so that they won't be sticky since they're not going to be actually on top of the card. So I'm just releasing the paper just on those two areas for the moment. Well, I say I am. Keep separating, but I can't grab it. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to fold the paper back a tiny bit so that the powder doesn't go everywhere on my sticky leaf leaves. I'll just bring this over. I'm just going to pat that right there. Okay. That's all it needs. Just that little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. Right about here. That is so fun. And you can make a, a homemade sticker just by simply stamping on a label. Stamp on a label. Um, color it in or use colored ink and then outline it and cut it out you've got a sticker <laughs> so that's fun I like doing that this one's actually printed of course on my printer but it's the same idea you get the it's the same idea all right I think this is good to slide in there now 
and I'm going to just slide it in like so. That's so cute, adding just a little bit of that black and white there. I like that. How fun. Wow, I really, really loved this, you guys. It was fun doing some of the mixed media stuff again and making, um, you know, using the bubble wrap and the paint. And, of course, I love collage, so that was a fun little background to make. And then this, just the finger painting was fun. So um, I do want to put some words on, and I don't have them ready yet because I need to type those out. I'll have the words on by the time I um, put the photo at the end. And I just hope you guys all have as much fun as I just had being messy, scribbling, and adding these other little fun bits to your card and your page. And um, I can't wait to see them in our Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. So until the next video, I'll say goodbye, and we will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Oops, I almost forgot again. I wanted to show you guys my tiny card for last month. Move some of this out of the way so it's not so crazy. Um, this was my tiny card when we did the childhood and all that from last month. So I found an, a vintage map of Florida and had all, all of the um, attractions highlighted on the map. And that was just the way my childhood went. We, we drove a lot when I was a kid and we went to several places not too far. We didn't drive far, but sometimes on the weekend we'd pile in the car, you know, and go down and visit. We have a lot of springs in Florida, and so we would visit those occasionally. And then I did a little stitching on the bottom here and attached some fun little flowers, which, you know, it just reminds me of my childhood. There's music notes here uh, next to the little birdie. So, yeah, that was my little one, and that will be going in my tiny book. And uh, I'll be showing you guys that at the end of the challenge. I'll show you my little tiny book with all the little cards in it, too. So anyway, that's it. Take care, everybody, and we will see you again soon. Bye.